welcome back to my channel you join me today on the most miserable saturday i have ever seen it's cold outside it's raining outside it's windy a little bit it's not that windy but still it's miserable it's just gone 10 o'clock on the 19th of january and i've got a very busy day today a very exciting day and i thought why not vlog it for you guys so i'm also vlogging tomorrow and i thought about making it a, a double vlog but i decided not to because i was hoping that this video would be long enough to make it an actual vlog itself because i'm busy today so i've just gotten myself dressed ready to have some breakfast and i've got a lot of things that i need to get done today before we go out tonight because my family are going out somewhere very nice tonight because my brother's birthday was a few weeks ago and for his birthday he chose to do this thing so we're doing that today the day has come and he is wound up like a drum guys i tell you but i've got a lot of homework to do today well, i didn't have a lot of homework because i've already done a bit but i know i've got to do a bit of homework, I need to tidy my drawers, I need to get myself ready for tonight, but that doesn't have to be done until later. I have a whole load of things I need to do today, so I thought, why not vlog them for you? So, my dad is just getting ready because we're going out to Home Bargains to pick up a few essentials, and yeah, so you will see me later on. So guys, fast forward about 25 minutes. And we are now at home bargains. I with my dad. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> it's like the camera screen right now is like wet and I can't see anything. But you know, so we're at home bargains. I'm just about to head in there, so we'll see you guys later. So guys, one home bargains trip and a petrol stop later. Dun dun dun. We are now going back home, but we have to post a letter first before we go home. And then I know I have to sort out my drawers are on my desk and sort out my school bags. That will be done. And yes, we'll see you guys when we get home. What is up, Absis? So I am back from shopping with my dad like you just saw and the next job on my list is to clean my room um it's not all in my room it's my desk my drawers on my desk and my school bag so this apart from the makeup organizer and the stationery stuff over there that like my actual desk is a mess my drawers obviously like that's how messy it is and then my school bag needs to be done as well. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I will time lapse a little bit of it, but I'm not going to time lapse at all. Otherwise, the whole video will just be a time lapse. So um, I will stop the time lapse, keep on tidying, and I will see you guys when I'm all tidy. So that was before. That was the before bit. So that's before. Before. I'm not going to show you in my school bag, but like, before. So guys, I'll see you soon. Guys, after about, what's the name? An hour, about an hour of cleaning. Now, I know to some of you, you'd be like, no, it did not take you an hour just to do all that. Trust me, guys, it took me an hour. Now, I know that time lapse was really short, so it didn't show much but so the after of my desk all clear and then this, i always have like a little pile of things there and i've got my ipad there some notebooks then my drawers i'm just going to turn the camera so I, I just realized that you can't turn the camera around while you're like filming you have to turn you have to stop the video and then turn it around so this is my first drawer it's all nice and tidy. I don't think I showed you this. I showed you the second drawer. In the second drawer, it may still look a bit like messy, but like underneath is like cleaner than it was. Like you saw what it was before. And my bottom drawer is not as tidy, but it still like fits in. And then my school bag, 
it's all nice and tidy in there as it well. It's good that I've got this all got it all sorted, but that is everything. That big pile there, everything I need to get rid of. So I'm going to go and get a bag, put it all in the bag, and take it back downstairs. As you just saw, I have now finished. Oh, that's deflating. So I got to my boot birthday girl balloon is deflating but i just remembered that like right at the top of my wardrobe i don't actually know what's here and i want to like experiment and look through like boxes and stuff because i obviously know what that is because that's my brother's game but it's like i don't know what much of this stuff is up here so i think i'm gonna explore it and i'll get back to you guys if i find anything interesting when you next see me, I will be all in my gear, ready to go. Right, I will um, show you what I'm wearing and where they are from, where they are from, and things as well. I'll just quickly show you. So my top is from Peacocks, and it was about four pound in the sale, I think. And these jeans are from Sainsbury's. They're about a tenner. The boots are. Around £15 from Shoe Zone and jump up was £25 from H&M. A lot of you are asking for me to do a makeup tutorial, but because I'm too busy at the moment, I'm going to add a mini tutorial of what makeup I'm putting on now. So to start with, I use the simple Kind to Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser just to moisturise my face before I put makeup on and I apply that all over my face. The moisturizer, I am um, just move the light all across. I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade Soft Beige. And all I'm going to put it is I'm just going to put it under my eyes because, like, like, I feel like if I put it under my eyes, then if I get like tired later because we're going to be out really late. Then hopefully the concealer should, but well, I hope, should cover it up. I really hope it does, but if it doesn't then, oh well. And then I'll put some on my nose, on my chin, and just a little bit on my head. And then I get a beauty blender. I have loads of beauty blenders. I'm going to use this one and I just dab it in. After that, I'm going to put on the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder I'm going to apply that with a brush and I don't usually do this but today I'm going to I'm just going to put a little bit of um, highlighter on and the highlighter I use is out of an eyeshadow palette and it's the Maybelline, the, May, the, 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 the Maybelline New York Total Temptation Palette I'm just going to put some on my finger and rub it up there and then I'll just do the same on the other side. And then I will get the fan brush which is here. I've got like a makeup all eyes in front of me that's why like, I'm doing it like this. And then I just thing it out with the fan brush. Like so, just like that. I'm not gonna like contour or highlight or anything, Con highlight, contour or blush or anything because like I feel like that I don't need to do that. Next, I will do eyeshadow. Eyeshadow though I'm using is from the Maybelline New York Total Temptation Palette, and it is that shade, just a simple gold natural kind of. Look. Right, so to apply that, I use the Celia London eyeshadow brush. Now, next, I come with eyelashes. Um, I don't always come with eyelashes. It depends if I have time. Sometimes I won't have time, so I don't curl my eyelashes. But today, because I have time. I am, I don't hold them for very long anyway, so it's not like, you know, I'm like 
holding on to it for very long. Then I use mascara, and this mascara is the Ramel London Extra Super Lash in a, a brown black colour. I feel like, excuse me, the black doesn't suit me. Full black, and we can't find a full brown mascara. So comment down below if you have any, if you know any place that sells brown mascara. Cause that would be handy. And then I just apply. Not like guys, I'm no beauty guru, so you know. How I put it on is how I put it on, to be honest, I don't really, well it's just how I put it on. I know beauty the room, so I don't know how to do certain things, but I think that looks more or less okay. Yeah, it's got a big clump out. That's so handy. Yeah. And sorry, my dad is asking me. So yeah, I think that looks okay. Hope it looks good. Like I said, I'm not a beauty guru, but I think that looks okay. Then I just push my eyebrows up. And this night I usually use the like blink clumping mascara out because like I don't use it with my eyebrows, so I just get like any clumpy mascara out of uh, I think that looks okay now then to finish I use some lip balm just to pop on really really quickly I'm going to put this back and then uh, to final touch of my lips I use the Avon uh, Pinky Lip, ignore my brother in the background, in the shade Frozen. And I am actually obsessed with this lip colour because, like, I hadn't. I kept, like, finding it. Like, if you could see now, I have, like, including this one, eight lipsticks. And. None of them actually like suited me, or I didn't like them. And I found this one. I ordered this one, and oh my goodness, I absolutely love this lip lick because it's not bright and bold, but it's just a very light lip to. So guys, we are all ready, and we are just about to leave. And I'm actually really excited. I know, like, my brother and all are really excited as well. Um, but it's going to be, like, a nice change to go and see something like this. You guys don't know what it is. But, yeah, it's going to be really, really exciting. And you'll probably see what it is because what I'll be filming there. But, yeah, so I'm really excited to go. And we'll see you soon.